What is good with y'all, man? So today we're going to be talking about 10 things that could have saved Madden 23 or just made it better. Like, these aren't, like, you know, crazy things we're going to talk about. Simple things. Some of these things are so simple as they worked in 22 fine and they don't work in 23. And some of them are just things that have been bad in Madden for a while. And some things just went completely wrong this year. So let's go ahead and get into the list. First one we got here is the abilities slash, you know, the AP system. This year... They went crazy with it. They, they, they just went out of control. Uh, my biggest thing that I just didn't like was, let's say you had a car that was coming out. Uh, Deshaun Jackson, for example, where they dropped Deshaun Jackson, one of my favorite receivers of all time. He comes out, and his ability system is trash. Now, he gets the return man for the zero AP. Don't get me wrong. That's cool. But as a receiver, his AP is terrible. Like, it's not good. You know what I mean? And you look at other guys that have... You know, similar archetypes, and this is what I'm leading to, is that some people have the you know, archetypes that matter this year, because a guy could have the same archetype as Deshaun Jackson and get a completely different AP, uh, might even be a low overall, and just gets, you know, just better AP. The abilities he gets are better, and that is my biggest problem, is that basically this year you had to pretty much rely on EA to give your favorite players the AP that you want, and that's just not how it should be. I think it needs to go back to the system how it was in 21. I think Madden 21 had the best AP system. And now you got guys running around with 30 abilities on offense, 30 abilities on defense. I mean, it's fucking ridiculous. You know what I mean? I even heard some people say, hey, maybe they should raise the, the AP a little bit for, like, offense and defense. Like, you know how it's capped at 12 right now. People saying, let's get it to 15. You can already have 30 on both sides of the ball. Like, what else do you want? You know what I mean? So, hopefully, um, next year... Man, I wouldn't even be mad if they, if they just completely got rid of abilities, man, or just, you know, just left it to where it's just X-Factors or something, because after this year, it, it was a mess. Number two, we got weak boxing. So, for, for you guys that don't know what weak boxing is, basically what weak boxing is, let's say I come out in 146 dime or something like that, right? A package with, like, 3D linemen and, like, fucking, you know, 8 DBs or something, so you know what I mean? Let's say I come out something like that. And my opponent comes out in, like, eye form or strong clothes or just something really beefy, you know, something that's just, you know, gonna, that is meant to run the ball, right, with a lot of beef out there. Uh, what would happen is your defense would get weak box. So my down 146, guys would get pancaked, you know, guys would be on the ground because I came out in a soft-ass package against a big-ass package. That's how it used to be, like, Madden 22, Madden 21, things like that. You would get weak boxed if you came out in them soft ass packages. Uh, now this still is weak boxing a little bit this year, but it barely happens. And when it does happen, it's just like really random to be honest. Uh, like they they didn't need to. What I'm saying is that needs to come back. That was pretty much taken away from the game this year. Guys could sit in one four six dime and things like that in packages really where they shouldn't be able to stop an eye form or things like that. And they they've been able to stop. But even let's say a single back with like three tight ends or something, you know, they're able to stop, you know, the run out of that stuff, and they shouldn't be able to, I'm not saying, like, they, they should get weak box, like that, because that's, that's how it used to fix it, the guys would get out of that immediately, because they knew if they stayed in that, they're getting pancaked on the ground, so that needs to make a return next year, in my opinion. Number three, we got the stamina bar, and I feel like this one has not really been talked about a lot this year, we noticed it definitely when the game first came out, but the stamina this year, you know, you do a juke and a spin, say goodbye your stamina is gone like you're not your guy that you have with the ball the ball carrier is going to have no stamina right like look at a game like madden 20 right if you guys played madden 20 or madden 20 you could do the most disgusting things to a human being and literally have all your stamina man like they pride it they, they want to pride it on realism so bad but realistically no one is dead completely tired has no air in their lungs after a spin in a juke Right, that that's I don't know if these guys have never played football before because they want to make it all about realism. That's what they're trying to do, but that has nothing to do with realism. And you can't be like, oh, would I be a little too overpowered? Like it wouldn't be, because not everybody has stick. You know what I mean? Some some of us actually know what we're doing with our thumbs. So I don't think they should have they shouldn't limit us just because, you know, we're godlike. That's what it is. For the fourth one, this one is not like a gameplay thing or anything like that. It's something just to do with uh content and things like that in general. This year, every time a promo came out or some type of content, there was either a game-breaking glitch, you know, a glitch that made something difficult, messed the servers up, or just something that almost completely messed the game up that wasn't supposed to be in the game. And it literally happened every promo drop. Like, I, you would think, like, okay, they're testing it out, right? Like, 
No, they're they're not. They're, they don't even care. They're just dropping it. Like whatever happens, happens. They could just let us know, and then we'll go from there and fix it. And of course, they're gonna take their sweet ass time to fix it. But if it has something to do with their money and they're losing money on it, guys are making coins and things like that. Oh, they fixed that in a heartbeat. So it just you know, in 24, they need to just test things out, make sure things work before they drop it. Like seriously, like that's their job. Like if any other person does that, guess what? you fired make the game free to play this has been something that's been talked about for honestly the last couple years uh people have been talking about make the game free to play and now i'm not talking about madden as a whole what i really i guess i should have said this make mutt free to play ultimate team make that game mode free to play a lot of people think that you have to spend money on mutt in my opinion you don't and i feel like i do a good job setting an example that you don't gotta spend money on mutt you know what i mean we're in what a day away from april i got a 98 overall team I don't spend money on this game you know what i mean i spent money to get the game but i didn't spend money on anything after that so uh but but the point is make mutt free to play it could 23 was such a bad year I, it, this this might be the worst man i ever played and i feel like we say it's damn almost every year uh but then you look back on the other mutts or maddens and you're like okay this one was worse uh they they said in 24 they want to make it a bounce back year like a big splash year well, you would start by, I would say, making Mutt free to play. Make that, make that free to play and maybe even get some more people to play. Get more eyes on the game mode. You know what I mean? So, I don't know. That's my thought. Now, this one right here is the big one. Rack catching and A catching. A catching is, you know, conservative catching has been ruined this year. And I mean, both of those have been terrible. I've never seen it like this. You pretty much have to Y catch everything. Y catching meaning aggressive catch. If you're on PlayStation, triangle catch. Uh, that doesn't even sound right. Triangle catch. Just call it Y catching. You know what I mean? <laughs> that, that is crazy. But you you almost have to. Because, right, there's so many things that it can go wrong if you rat catch it or A catch it. Let's say you want to catch a pass on the sideline, right? Let's say, because, you know, the, the, the animation where they catch it, you know, high kind of high point it, and they toe tap it in bounds. That, that, that has been so bad this year. Like, literally, if you Y catch it, you can get that same animation. You're going to get a better animation, and it's gonna. you might even have a chance to run up the sideline. The problem right with A catching is uh, there's two things that either happen. One, you're trying to, you know, tiptoe it on the sideline, so you try to A catch it, and it hits him right in his hands, and he just straight up drops it. Or two, they don't even catch it in bounds. They don't even get their feet in bounds. I mean, like, that literally happens every time. That's why you see people why catch it, because it's damn near guaranteed that you're going to catch it and you're going to get your feet in bounds, right? It, you know, the animations just look a little bit weirder. And a rat catching, I mean, don't get me started. Let's say you want to throw it to your running back in the flat, so you hit X to rat catch it. It, he just straight up drops it. Like, they just damn near straight up drop it when you try to rat catch it. And the, and the big problem with that is, right, you try to rat catch it, hits him right in his hands, and he drops in the fucking flat. And then you got a cornerback flying down right there with pick artists, so he sees the ball float in there because, you know, the ball always floats in there because we're playing zero-gravity football. So what does he do? He goes ahead and grabs it and picks it off and takes it to the house. All because you wanted to throw a flat route, but your rat caught it. Like, I shouldn't, be, I shouldn't have to why catch everything. We got to bring rat catching back, and we definitely got to bring A catching back because I've never seen it this bad, and it's terrible. This is another good one right here. Tackle battles i mean i don't even know why this is added to the game like tackle battles like i'll be honest like they only lead to bad things like literally all it is is an easy way for you to fumble that's the only thing i see it as i don't know why this shit was added i said it in the beta i don't like this you know what i mean i'll say that another thing is too, the beta was so much better than the actual game but literally the only thing that i think the tackle battles added to the game was fumbles because what this will happen you're running the ball you got a nice run you get locked up in a tackle battle the first thing running through my mind is if i see another guy run up he's gonna i'm gonna get peanut punched that's all it is it's just a way to get peanut punched and fumble take it out the game please it's not good i don't think anybody likes it this one right here is something that i think was introduced to the game last year if i'm not mistaken in mad 22 uh d line picks it's just they're unrealistic they're out of control and they're wild as fuck I mean, honestly, now, if you remember, I think with Madden 21, we didn't have D-line picks. What it was is you would get throw out of sacks, and throw out of sacks were crazy. A lot of people are like, okay, just bring throw out of sacks back, and then when they bring them back, you're going to be like, take them away, because throw out of sacks were crazy, but the D-line pick sixes are just as crazy, you know what I mean? I don't know what the perfect balance is. I think, honestly, what, what needs to happen, in my opinion, 
don't have the ball sit in the air for 30 fucking seconds. You got to think about it, right? I want you to look. When you get hit in the pocket, look how that ball, it literally sits in the air, I think, for like a whole second. And then it slowly falls to the ground. That's not realistic. In real life, the ball just it just drops to the ground. Because, you know, we like this is, is this zero gravity football? Like, what are we fucking playing, man? Offensive lineman awareness. This has been something that we wanted fixed in Madden literally every year. Now, to start the year in Madden 23, it was possibly at all-time low and it was funny because it was actually something that they kind of marketed the game going into the year like oh the offensive line and you know things like that you remember that and uh yeah it was probably the worst that we've ever seen it like when, when the game first dropped it was bad 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 now obviously it's in a way better state than it was but we you know when it first dropped it should be or else that means they really didn't work on the game uh, but, the, you know, we, we can't be having that when the game drops, man. We just really can't, you know, because one is going to kill the experience for a lot of new players. They're like, oh, this is how they get down, this, that, this, that. So, just got to, just got to, you know what I mean, have some consistency. The final one, I think this is uh, all, what well, one we can all agree on. And if you can't, then you just don't even play Madden. You don't care. Uh, drop a finished game. We shouldn't have to wait till fucking February or January for most of the bugs and gameplay issues to get fixed. All of this needs to be fixed early when the game is, you know, new, fresh, you know, and everybody's on it. There's no reason, like, you know, just drop the finished game. Drop the game at least finished. Like, I get there's going to be some bugs at launch. I understand that. I'm not mad about that. But not we can't have so many bugs to where... Like, I feel like gameplay-wise, it's just not even the same now. Like, when the game first came out, it's just two different experiences almost. You know what I mean? Like, when the game first dropped, it was hectic. It was crazy. You look at it now, you know I mean? Obviously, you know how the game plays now, so that's another thing. But, you know, I feel like, the game plays just way better now. You know what I mean? It's, it's just, you know, because they fixed a lot of the problems with it. But it took them so damn long. Like, we shouldn't have to wait that long. Let's get it done. You know, do your job, maybe. You know what I mean? Like, that's usually what people have to do. So, 24, like, I off the rip, I want a good game. And I want, if there's problems, let's get them fixed quick. Let's get them fixed quick and let's get on it. Like, we shouldn't be waiting for stupid things to get fixed. That That's just what it is, man. Those are just my 10 things that I personally think could have possibly saved Madden 23. Um, You guys let me know. There's more. Trust me. I know that. I, I just can't, you know think of everything off the rip and I, I try to also just confine it down to 10 because you know if we try to look for every little thing we'd be here for a while we'd be here for a very long time so you guys let me know what are some things that you want you know either fixed in 24 that could have you know saved 23 let me know down in the comments i'm sure you guys got some other ideas too that i would be like oh okay yeah that's true you know what i mean so uh i still play the game though that's what i do madden is kind of the only game i, I mean i play other games but madden is mostly the only game that i play sadly sadly but it's true but that is pretty much gonna do it though boys like comment subscribe man and your boy is out